Welcome to my channel and welcome to the 1920s. Today we are creating this look right here and when doing this look, look I've been trying to only use products uh, that could have existed in the 1920s so I've only used products that are the type of products that I would have uh, at that time and the reason why I'm doing this is all, not just to make it look more realistic but also have it wear more realistic during the day or at night so if you want to see how I created this look just stay tuned today we're starting out with foundation and I'm using my Fenty Beauty Found It Pro Filter foundation in the color 150 whoops I just splatted foundation everywhere two seconds so I'm starting out with a couple of pumps on my damp beauty sponge and I now have foundation all over my beauty room slash office sofa so that's I guess something one can have and then I'm just applying this foundation like I normally would. And then for my under eyes, I'm going in with my Touche Clay Radiant Touch in the color number two. And I'm just going to use this more or less the usual way. And some on my forehead as well. And I'm just using the pointy end of my beauty sponge to press this into my skin. And then I'm just going to set my face like I usually do using my Beauty Bakery Setting Flower in the color Translucent. I'm just taking some of this and tapping it into the lid of the container before I'm using a flawless face brush from e.l.f. Cosmetics to set my under eyes, my smile lines, my forehead and also my jawline and I'm just doing all of this pretty much as usual because in the 1920s people still had access to this most of the same kind of products that we do today like you know foundations powders eyeshadows various kinds of like uh, eyebrow products, etc. So even though I'm doing this pretty much authentically, it's going to be much in the same way as we do it today. Then we're moving on to brows and for my brows I'm going to use my Smashbox Brow Tech Matte Pencil in the color top and I'm just starting out by brushing my brow here upwards and then I'm going to do my brows and the thing is that like most of you probably know uh, the shape of people's brows or like the brow trends in the 1920s were not the same as they are today so instead of filling my brow in like I normally do I'm going to try to make it look thinner out here and out here at the end and a little bit fuller at the middle and also be like kind of rainbow shaped sorta so I'm starting out and the kind of bottom corner here and I'm making like a bow going all the way up here and then down again in the end so this is kind of going to be the base shape that we work from and then I'm filling it out here in the middle in the center and I'm thinning it out again towards the tail and 
and then I'm brushing through it to make it appear a little bit less harsh and also to see that all the color has been placed correctly The main trend of the 1920s was to have thinner brows, but you also see a lot of imagery from people with more natural looking brows. So doing it that way or this way kind of allows you to uh, use your natural brow as you have it now in 2018 without having to cover up too much or without having to pluck your brow in a shape that you wouldn't normally have. And then with my brows on, I'm just going to set them with my ABH Clear Brow Gel. Uh, and this is just to set it into shape, nothing more. And then I can hear that my dog really, really wants to go for a walk, so I'm going to take her outside before I come back and do the rest of this. Okay, so the dog and I have been outside for an hour and I'm back to do the rest of my eyes. And I'm going to use my Benefit High Brow and I'm just drawing this on under my brow and then I'm blending it out with my finger then I'm picking up my Beauty Bakery ice cream in the color pancake pancake and I'm using this to prime my lids and I'm just picking up, picking it up on my finger and blending it all over my lid. I'm using this as an eyeshadow base just so that the other colors I'll be using have something to stick to. And then to create today's 1920s eyeshadow look, I'm going to use two palettes by Anastasia Beverly Hills. The first one is the Soft Glam Palette and the second one is the Subculture Palette. And I'll start out by going in with this color Tempera. It's the lightest color in the Soft Glam Palette. And I'll be using this uh, Real Techniques Base Shadow Brush to put this on. And I'm just placing this shadow all the way under my brow and on the brow bone just to make sure that we can blend the other colors seamlessly upwards. Then I'm picking up this color Dusty Rose from the same palette and I'm just blending this all above my crease and I'm also taking this a, a little bit further forward than I would normally do as that was common in the 1920s and I'm just adding a, a little bit at a time and blending it out until I feel I have the perfect blend and density of color. Then I'm picking up the subculture palette in this color down here. It's called Rowdy. It's the darkest purple color. And I'm placing this in my crease and also bringing it down onto my lid. And we're also taking this color a little further into like the inner part of the eye than I normally would just because that was how they did it in the 1920s. And then we're just taking our time blending it into the other color and also over the lid, but it doesn't have to go all the way down to the lash line as we will be uh, using black there. And then before I continue with my upper eye, I'm going to pick up this color Dusty Rose from the Soft Glam Palette and just wash that all the way 
under my eye from all the way from the outer to the inner corner just a nice even wash of this color and then I'm picking up the color rowdy again and then I'm just placing this color rowdy all the way on my lower lash line just close to the eye and then we're picking up a Kajal eyeliner and I'm just aligning all the way around my eye and on the upper lash uh, on the upper eyelid we're going to go over it with a black um, eyeshadow so it doesn't need to be perfect and we're just going to go all the way along the lash line and the under eye area as well and also all the way to the front of the eye so that it goes all the way around the eye and then we're just smoking it out a, a little bit on the lower lash line just using the same brush as before then we're picking up this color noir from the soft glam palette uh, that's French for black by the way and we're using this on the upper lid and just blending it into the rowdy color on top of the eyeliner just making it nice and smoky and kind of messy even though in the 20s they had many of the same makeup products we do today they didn't always have quite the same quality so it wasn't uncommon for a makeup to be a little bit messy then we're going in with mascara I'm just using a normal mascara this is the colossal big shot volume express which is from the Maybelline X makeup Shayla collaboration and I'm just putting this on the normal way coating putting one coat from below one from above and then from below again and then on my bottom lashes as well now this is just a single coat of mascara super easy and I could put put on false lashes of course because they did have them in the 1920s but I do want this look to be as attainable and easy for as many people as possible, so I'm not going to do this today. But if you want to do that when you do this look yourself, then go ahead, that would be historically correct. Then I'm just going to zoom you out a little bit before we move on to the cheeks. I'm, first, I'm going to use my Hoola bronzer on a contouring brush from Real Techniques. And instead of doing this like I usually do, where I go all the way back, I'm just going to very lightly kind of make a little smiley face right here just on my cheek kind of not going all the way back at all just to create some dimension and then I'm going to pick up a really big fluffy brush this is a round brush from uh, BH Cosmetics and I'm going to use my Ciate Baby Doll uh, Illuminate. Illumina <laughs> and I'm going to use my Ciate Baby Doll Illuminating um, Rouge. It's called Blush. Blush. Yes, Blush. And I'm just twirling my brush into this. And I'm placing this on the apples of my cheeks. And pretty high close to the eye and I'm not pu pulling this backwards at all I'm concentrating this front up here in the front and then I'm going to set my face and I'm just using my Colourpop all-star setting spray A 
And then for my lips, I want a kind of dark red color and I could of course use a liquid lipstick but I didn't have liquid lipsticks in the 1920s and I want this look to be to kind of wear like it would in the 1920s, which is why I try to use product that would be on the market at the time. So I'm going to use a normal lipstick instead. This is in a kind of a crayon shape and it's by NARS. And I'm just going to draw on kind of like a, a little heart shaped mouth, which was very trendy at the time. So that would be my under lip. And for my upper lip, I'm going to make that characteristic V shape on the Venus uh, bow, just like that. Cupid's bow. Whatever. So this is the shape we're going for. I'm just going to take a piece of paper and blot my lips. And then I'm going to tap over with my finger just to remove any excess product. So this is the finished face. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with my hair. Uh, I was planning on filming this look before I cut my hair because uh, the way it was before I cut it would have been pretty much perfect. Um, but I didn't get that far so yeah. I'll see what I can do and I'll get back. Okay, so this is the finished look. I quite like how it turned out. If you have any beads like this, you should have use some long ones that would really work with the look and also put on a nice 1920s dress. You can have any kind of hair bands in your hair and if you have short hair like me, you can make it lay in a way that works. But it, I would, I do wish that I had filmed this before I cut my hair or that I had a wig that I could like put on that was more 1920s, but this works as well. Women had started to cut their hair quite short in the 1920s, so this is like okay-ish. Um, if you did like this video, I hope you'll give me a thumbs up. If you do have any questions about this look or anything else, any wishes for future looks, any products you want me to try out, please leave them in the comments down below and I'll make sure to get back to you. Uh, you can also follow me on social media. You can always find me as Superguri both on Instagram and Snapchat. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. I'll put a button right up here. And if you don't want to miss anything from me, you should also hit the notification bell. That way you would be notified when I upload. Uh, if you want to see anything else I've filmed, I will leave a couple of videos up here, probably some Halloween ones. Uh, so that's it for now. Thank you for watching and until next time, bye!